City of Tampa's overnight curfew was just lifted a few moments ago at 6 o'clock this morning. It was put in place after protests over the death of George Floyd turned violent over the weekend here. Attention, this is the Tampa Police Department. By order of the Chief of Police, you are engaging in illegal activity. You are ordered to immediately disperse. Last night, what started as a peaceful protest of hundreds of people in downtown Tampa ended with police using pepper spray and pellet guns on protesters who refused to leave after that curfew started at 730. I'm Jennifer Titus in downtown Tampa at Curtis Hickson Park. On Sunday night, there was a peaceful protest of a couple hundred people. They marched from here all the way to Tampa Police Headquarters. But as the night went on, we did see tensions start to rise as a curfew went into effect. I can tell you that there were a couple arrests made. This is what it looked like at Cypress Green Park in Tampa before that curfew set in at 7.30 p.m. last night. 10 Tampa Bay had crews in that area since the peaceful Black Lives Matter march, which happened on Sunday afternoon. But after that march finished up, some protesters took to the streets, closing down the intersection of North 22nd Street and MLK Jr. Boulevard. Some set tires on fire in the middle of an intersection. The crowd then made their way to Tampa Police District 3 station a couple blocks down the road from that, and that's when things got even more violent. Protesters confronted a line of police officers throwing rocks, soda cans, bottles, really whatever they could find. The police were forced to respond with rubber bullets, pepper spray, and smoke bombs. The streets were cleared by 8 p.m. last night. There is no countywide curfew throughout Hillsborough County. It's only in Tampa, and Sheriff Chad Chronister said that's because the violence was not widespread. Because the, the, the actions of the small few, I didn't want to punish the remainder of the county. And, and a majority of this destruction and this violence was being caused in the city. I commend the mayor. I think she did the right thing. But I, again, I didn't want to punish or restrict the movements for the 1.1 million people who live in the county for the actions of, of the very few. Yeah, Hillsborough, very large county. Polk County also under a curfew until 5 o'clock this morning. That was lifted about an hour ago. Last night, a crew blocked Florida Avenue and Morial Boulevard. Cars could not get by until police were able to disperse the crowd there. But it was a different story earlier in the day. Take a look. Yeah, hundreds of protesters gathered at Munn Park in downtown Lakeland. This is yesterday for a peaceful protest. Again, Polk County's curfew ended at 5 a.m. this morning.